Welcome back to the Goombot Films channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a water pump rebuild on the old KX100 again. We're doing some more work on her. Uh, about well, when I first got the bike, I noticed a little discoloration in the uh, in the oil, but it's gotten really bad recently. Here I'll show you what's going on. So we come over. Take this. So you can see here, I took the radiator cap off. You can see what should be clear, or like a pinkish clearish radiator fluid. It's like it looks like strawberry milk, almost. It's very, it's very dark and milky, I guess if you want to call it like that. And this is this is what the oil looks like in the crankcase. There, it's there's a leak. There's a leak in our seals here, so that's what we're gonna be replacing today. So because we'll be draining both the radiator and the crankcase. We'll be taking, I'll be taking this plug off, and I also already have the radiator cap off. So we'll be taking this one off. So when we open the drain plug, we have airflow through the whole thing. We're not creating any suction or anything. So we want everything to come out. And additionally, at the end here, when we get all of it out, we'll be running, I'll be running water through the system just to clean out all the leftover residue or the bad, the bad fluids in it. We'll be using a 14 millimeter socket here. And I just put the extension on it because, you know, just send it. So we're gonna loosen this bolt on the bottom of our crankcase here. I'm not gonna take it the whole way out because I don't wanna be under here while it... All right, so there's that. Put the bucket under. If I have quick hands, Maybe I'll be able to take it out before I get oil all over my arm. I'm lucky. Alright. Getting there, getting there. Last thread. No. Not yet. Oh, oh, there it is. Woo! Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Now that's completely you can just see what color it is. There's the there's the drain plug it fell in the fell in the um our bucket here. But it smells it smells kind of burnt a little bit, but yeah, there's definitely coolant in that oil because that oil was not pink. Was not pink when I put it in there. So we're going to let this drain out and then I'll get back to you here and we're going to we'll drain the radiator fluid see what that looks like. All right, we'll be using this 10 millimeter socket here to uh, drain our drain our um, coolant coolant system here. So hopefully this doesn't squirt all over my phone. Yep. See now that's what it's supposed to look like. Here I'll show you. See now inside the engine, these two uh, it's split. So now probably that heavier, milky looking is on the top, and this is probably on the bottom. But when I put this coolant in, that's what it looked like. It was this clear, almost peachy looking type of liquid. But now, it looks like that. So we're gonna try, if, when I take this out, it's probably gonna, it's gonna look a lot different. It's all gonna come pouring out, so. All right, there it all goes. See, that's what it looks like when I put it in. It was this, oh, there it is. See, now there's our pink coolant. Let that, I'm gonna let that all drain out. I'll get back to you here. So you can see this stuff. Look, I'm letting it drip out on my hand here. Look at that. It's not even a liquid. It's a. Honestly, it's more of. I don't know. It's a weird liquid. But that's that's not doing anything for my bike. It's not it's not cooling it down at all. So that's that's our problem. There's a cool. There's a leak in this part. It's either this part or a main gasket. But it's. I'm thinking it's our coolant. Or not coolant, it's the, uh, I can't think of the name. Um, one of the bearings or seals in here in our water pump. So I'm going to let this drain. Hopefully it'll drain quick. And then we'll get, we'll get on to tearing her apart. So I got here about three quarter gallon of uh, water. Just wash out of the hose. And we're just going to run that through the, um, through the system. Clear all that junk out. All that. What a, that, whatever you want to call it, milky looking, milky looking radiator fluid. See now it's coming out, it's coming out clear, which is good in a way. So we'll just let that all clear out. 
Yep, see, here comes, there's some more of that pink stuff. Alright, we'll run some more through. See, now with that, that, that just cleaned out, cleaned out our radiator. So now she's all clean. All of our fins are good. Or not the fins, whatever it's called, to do between. My camera focus. So now it should be good. The engine should be cleared out for the most part. I'm not going to put water in the crankcase because we all know how that would end. Um, that wouldn't be too smart. But I'm going to let her sit for a couple hours, maybe even overnight. And we'll start ripping her apart, putting in the new seals, new bearings. And then I got some more liquids, oil, and coolant we'll throw in her. And hopefully, hopefully that fixes it all up. I'm pretty sure we even got pretty sure all the... Yeah, there's still a little bit of oil in it. So I'm going to have to move the bike around get it all out but for the most part she's drained so on to the next step tearing her apart so we're back it's been about a day i let everything drain out see it's all in this bucket here and uh we're gonna start tearing her apart so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to take your kickstand off put that aside or kickstarter off what am i saying then you're gonna take your rear brake off should just pop right off all right turned out mine had a little clip in the back so that just pops this out and now it should come right off like that. And you gotta take the spring off back here. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, come on, man, stupid thing. All right, so now I got the brake lever off. The old KX surprising me every day. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen all these bolts. Oh, there goes my flashlight. We're gonna loosen all these bolts on here and we're gonna pull, pull the whole clutch cover off and everything. Forgot to mention, but you're gonna wanna take this off before you actually take your whole crank cover off. So we're gonna zip those bolts aside and then pop this right off. See if any coolant leaks out on this. Oh, there goes the gasket and the oil. But we got a new one anyway. So there's your there's your coolant pump, water pump, whatever you want to call it. And that's what we're gonna be replacing, the seals back behind it. So I'm gonna rip I'm gonna rip the clutch cover off now and I'll get back to you. So to get the clutch cover off what I did was I took the uh, clutch cable disconnected it and then I took the uh, I took the actual uh, propeller out a power whatever you want to call it off so I got clutch cover off and I got the uh, where's it at? it's sitting right there and I pulled that whole thing off so um, I'm gonna clean all this old oil out with a rag and then we're gonna get to uh, putting the new seals into that so I'll get right back to you so I got the old uh, bearing and seal out of this. Um, took took me a little while because you really needed to hit it with a hammer and a screwdriver without busting out your uh, casing, messing that all up. But I got it out. Here it is. Uh, it's all mangled and screwed up. But I got the um, brand new one right here. So we're going to pop that in as, long, as well as this bearing. I also have a new bearing, so we're going to put that in. Um... I did accidentally, when I was taking this off, the clutch cover off, I ripped ripped the gasket, so I'm going to have to get a new gasket probably tomorrow or so, or a gasket maker and redo a gasket on here because I need it by Friday and I don't think they can ship it by then. So that's what we're going to do, just put one on there. Um, so I'll get back to you after I uh, put the new seal and bearing in here. I'll be right back. So as you can see, we got the new bearing and well, the new bearing, and then we got the seal on this side on. So I also got the new gasket right there. So we're gonna put the gasket and we're gonna put this on and try to get the freaking clutch on, but that's always a challenge. So I might have to take this off. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you when I get this whole thing put back together. So we're back here. I got the uh, I got the cover on. I got the clutch cover on, and I got it all bolted in. Put the, the uh, clutch cable back on. So now we're gonna put. We're gonna put the radiator pump fluid, the uh, radiator, what's it called, the water pump cover back on, and we'll hook up the hoses. Oh, we're gonna put this back on here, and we're gonna hook the hoses up, and then on, I'll show you what we're gonna do. So from we that. got everything back together. We got our Kickstarter on, rear brake, hoses all clamped down. We got the power valve cover back on. Now we're gonna put the fluids in them. I got it right there. So we're gonna put the fluids in radiator fluid and uh, motor oil so I'll get back to you when I'm putting those in so we got our oil in there it's just a uh, it's just a tractor supply brand uh, 10w30 so that's empty I'll burn that all tomorrow here we'll 
focus. And we got our uh, radiator fluid as well. That's just trash display brand as well, just anti -fr antifreeze. So we're gonna cap them off here real quick. And then we'll uh, get the oil plug too. So we'll put these on and then we'll fire it up on time, get everything working together. So I'll be back here when we get this all put on. Oh, I hate these plugs. I want to be 100% honest with you. I have not kicked it over in about a, a week solid at least since I tore it apart. So I think I, yeah, I have all the gas off and I just put choke on. So we're going to we'll kick her. Oh. I hate using iPhone to record. Oh, phone's gonna die now. Anyway, we'll give her a kick, see if she starts. <laughs> It stalled. Stupid KX, always giving me problems, but we got the new beauty over there, old CR. This is not my bike no more, it's my brother. So, well, it's all fixed up. We got our new radiator fluid, new well, new radiator fluid, new uh, gear fluid, oil, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, we're uh, good to go. Thanks for watching, and this is Goombop Nation uh, signing out. Thanks for watching. Little disclaimer here uh, I do record on an iPhone, so. Not the best quality, I'm not the best uh, movie man, movie f whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, I'm just doing what I know what to do and I'm trying to record it best I can to help everyone out. So don't be hating on me in the comments. Here's my, filled my garage up with smoke. Stupid two strokes. Just kidding, two strokes are the best in the world. Anyway, this is uh, Goombot Films. See you in the next one.